Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 15, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full technical analysis with all the commodities and precious metals that are available on Etero. And you can get access to our signal service and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we're looking here at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards the top of the Bollinger Band and then gave most of those gains back. And now we're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around. So I did expect this to fall towards the bottom of the bullish band here, which is the previous lows today. But no, it did not happen. It rallied. It, it was a really strange trading day. It was basically just back and forwards constantly. And uh, yes, uh, at this point, it looks like we are ready to go to the downside. We are in a downtrend. We have been here for a really, really long time. And uh, the last few days, we have been trading uh, just above the 20 exponential. And now we're probably most likely going to head back towards these lows. There's going to be a lot of stimulus and that will basically work against the US dollar. It will be very bullish for everything else, basically, uh, but not the US dollar. So let's look at oil. You can see that we have uh, we broke down in the early in the session and then rallied yet again. We're at 53.58 at this current stage or 59. And uh, yes, at this point, I think that we are going to go back down. We are overbought and it's very strange for oil, which is something that is supposed to be overbought when the world economy is booming, not be overbought when the world economy is basically nearly shut down. So. So this doesn't really make any sense. I am waiting for this massive pullback towards the middle here of the Bollinger Band, roughly a fall of uh, of uh, $3.5. That is what I'm looking for. And yes, that's going to be a substantial fall to the downside. Whether or not that is going to happen gradually, I don't really think so. And usually when it gets uh, this overbought and overstretched, we're also at the top of the Bollinger Band. It usually snaps to the downside and not you're not going to see a gradual decline we're going to see something similar to this fall all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band in one day session so that's what i'm waiting for and um, we are in uptrend you just have to accept that and pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band that is basically buying opportunity so let's look at net gas So as you can see, we have rallied today and then we broke back down. And now we are ready to go even further. These technical indicators are turning around. So next target, if we break this um, the 20 exponential moving average, we're heading all the way down to the lower part of the bullish band. And that is at 2.4. That is where we'll find a major support and buyers will come back in. No one's basically shorting this. Um, no one's just basically entering this whatsoever. I like to enter this when I know that it's going to um, go almost 100% a certain way. For example, here, when it fell all the way, when it gapped down, it fell down towards the 200 moving average. This is where we basically made our trade. So uh, at this point, I think that we're going back towards the bottom. And then if we break the 200 moving average, we are going lower. Um, and if we rally from here, we'll head back towards the 50 moving average. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have rallied quite nicely. The top of the Bollinger Band here is our target. That's 3.7. Um, if you wanted to enter this trade, you should have entered here, roughly at 3.59. 3 um, so, so um, yes. So, yes. Yeah. There's not much more to say about this. Um, a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is basically buying opportunity. This has been very reliable for a very long time. So, so uh, a stop loss right underneath the 20, that is basically your chance for to get, uh, well, quite a big profit here of copper. So let's look at gold. So we have been back and forward, back and forward uh, the last few days. We are fine. We are basically stabilizing here. And that is a very, very 
good sign for gold. We are not breaking down. We are basically stabilizing. And usually we are, we are also stabilizing above the 5200 moving average. So that is a good sign. At this point, we could we our target is basically the, the highest here of the Bollinger Band. So 1940, that is most likely where we're going to head. It won't happen in one day. It will probably go gradually to the upside, where it is similar to this. Um, however, if we break below the 200 moving average, uh, we'll head most likely head towards 1800 and then we'll head towards uh, 7050 and then after that it will break down quite substantially i just don't see oil uh, not oil but gold um breaking down at this current stage i have been bullish on oil, gold for a very long time and i'm still bullish on gold because i think that additional stimulus in the, the world economy in the United States is going to push this significantly higher. So we're still in these parameters. We have the resistance line here, the support line here. We almost touched it today, but uh, we touched it yesterday and then pulled back very aggressively. So I think that we're going to head towards this resistance line. If we break above this, then we're heading to 1950 and then to, to 2000. Break below that, well, that opens the door to catastrophically low levels to be fair and honest but i don't think that's going to happen so silver as you can see we have rallied a little bit giving most of those gains back we are also stabilizing here just above the 50 moving average and i think that we're going to head back towards roughly this area which is at 27.5 and also the top of the bullish band I have no interest in basically shorting this. This looks like it is about to go significantly higher. We have a support line here. A pullback towards the support line is basically a major buying opportunities or even a pullback towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band or the 50 moving average is, are also buying opportunities. Technical indicators are turning around except for the MACD. So let's look at Platinum. So we have rallied yet again today. We are getting very overstretched here. We're heading to the previous highs, also the top of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, I think that we're going to see a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, of roughly 10, 60, 60. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, but we are getting very overstretched. We have rallied from uh, 1,005 all the way up to, to 1118. So pullback towards the 20, that's your buying opportunity with the target of these previous highs. So pallium. Pallium, we can see that we have rallied a little bit today. We are trading above the 20 and the 50 exponential moving average. The target at this point is the top of the Bollinger Band, which is at the 2.467. A break below the 2 on uh, the 50 moving average opens the door to these previous lows at 2.280 um, but it looks like that we are going to go higher here uh, we have created kind of a support line here we have hit it several 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 times and it looks like we are going to go gradually higher towards this corner here so basically a pull, back, a pull uh, rally towards uh, the top of the bullish band, break down, and then just go into this corner. And from there, we are most likely going to rally significantly higher. If we break out of this area, then we are talking about going all the way to 2.785. Uh, that is most likely our next target, long-term target, or these previous so let's look at aluminium. As you can see, we have fallen even further today and now it's getting really, really interesting what basically what is going to happen here. So this looks like a, a really good setup for a massive rally to the upside. We have the 50 moving average, the bottom of the bullish band. We have these previous lows here. We have these technical indicators that are turning around very slightly and we have uh, quite a lot of room to the upside. So I would be very surprised if we broke down from here. This looks like we are going to rally up towards at least the top of the Bollinger Band. That's at 2.049. Uh, 
and at this current stage we are trading at uh, at roughly uh, 1.996 so stop loss underneath the 50 and the target of these highs here so let's look at nickel so we have rallied significantly today and uh, we are way outside of the bullish band so the moral session i would be very surprised if we did not fall quite aggressively towards the downside so the target here at 17 759 that is very likely that we're going to go to those st er, at that stage we could also just stick around here for a little bit or rally a, a little bit and then go down but target of the 20 exponential moving average that is a major buying opportunity at this stage technical indicators are very bullish we have still a little bit of room to the upside so when we see the cci and the stochastic turning around that is the time uh, this is going to fall so no interest in basically buying this i want to buy the pullbacks towards the 20 exponential moving average so let's look at sugar We can see that sugar has rallied significantly today. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band. We are getting way overstretched. So expect a pullback towards at least uh, 0 0.1597, which is basically the top of these previous highs here. Um, entry to the market should be around this area, 15.43, or the, or the edge of the, of the uh, 20 expansion moving average and these previous highs. Technical gears are very bullish for this, but there's not a lot of room to the upside. We're at 69, so expect a pullback tomorrow. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we have broken down a little bit, rallied, and we are basically almost where we started today. And this is a market that is very likely to go towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. Um, that is roughly at 0.7807 and uh, if you look at the technical indicators we are overbought and uh, they are all turning around so a gradual decline or an absolute collapse that is not very likely i think we're going to see a gradual decline towards the 20 exponential moving average before we rally yet again so let's look at cocoa so as you can see we have tried to rally up towards the uh, 20 exponential and uh, we broke down as well to towards the bottom of the bullish band but still this is just a market that is not going anywhere we are basically in a short-term downtrend here um, we have the highs here and the lows here and basically we're right in the middle so before we see a major movement to the downside or upside the indication where we're technically going there's no reason to basically start trading this at all so let's look at the last one that is wheat so wheat rallied also today we're on the edge of the bollinger band we are on the edge of being overbought technical indicators like the cci are turning around so a pullback towards the 20 exponential roughly at 636 that is your entry point a target of these previous highs here at 672 that is basically the trade that's uh, we're looking for so if you have any questions just write to me on patreon um, and uh, otherwise good luck and thank you very much